any emotions just walking into this building at this point? You know, it's it's weird, but uh, um, the overriding emotion is uh, the Vancouver Canucks trying to find a way to win um, and gain some traction here as we've kind of gone up and down. So that overrides everything. John, what does it take to fully sever ties with an organization you used to be with for us to stop asking you for you to... For just you guys to stop asking you <laughs> is the best thing. Um, I, I don't think you ever sever. Uh, I, I think the, uh, some of the most important things uh, when you're all said and done with the game, coaching, playing, whatever, are the relationships. So I don't think you ever totally sever it. Uh, but when you're in the middle of things and you're 30 games into with another team, I think it's time to sever it. And uh, uh, at least for of what's most important. That's finding a way to win uh, and trying to go about your business. And uh, so that's the way I look at it. That being said, what's the thing you're most proud of of your time here? Oh, I haven't even thought of it. I, I, I really haven't. I, and again, I'm, 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 I'm not going to keep going back. I, I, and it's not trying to be disrespectful. I have so many things on my mind trying to get this team functioning properly. So, uh, uh, and, it, and I have thoughts, but I'm not going to give them to you guys. You've been through situations, John, where you've played against a former team, where you've coached against your former team. Do you sense that your players have more incentive today, if it's not for you, at least the fact that they're playing against their former coach? No, I, I, you'll have to ask them. I, I think players, uh, if, they're, if their mindset is correct, they're worried about what's going on with their team, uh, good or bad, momentums uh, as far as the season goes, and are just worried about trying to play the right way. And, uh, that's all I want this team to do. Uh, we, we have a, a veteran team. I think we have really good leadership here. Uh, we find a way to win a game the other night. Uh, we're looking to try to go back to back with it to, to get ourselves going. You know what the energy level can be like in this building on any given day? How important is it for your team to have a good start to try to take the energy out of it? Yeah, in, in any building, really. Um, you know, I don't think we had a good start in, uh, in Ottawa. Uh, I, well, we had a good first five or six minutes, and then I thought our first period was not good. Um, you know, well chronicled. We have not scored the first goal a bunch during the season. Uh, uh, we've been chasing the game quite a bit during the season. Uh, that's something we'd like to try to change. And uh, uh, so whether it's MSG or any building, you're always looking to try to gain momentum when you start on the road. You've spoken about identity and the importance of an identity. Two months into the season, three months with this group, do you know what their identity is? Do they have one? Yet? No, I don't think so. Uh, I, I think we're making strides uh, um, for the people within the, the Vancouver organization, the people who cover us. Uh, I thought we made a huge stride, although we, uh, we lose the game uh, against L.A. In, in handling ourselves the proper way and the momentums of the game. Um, I don't think we've totally nailed it down. I think it's very important that we uh, get there as quickly as possible. I mean, we're 20 saves, 27 games into it, so, and I believe in that. I think you need to be who you are. Uh, we still have not totally defined that. I have an idea of what we like to be, uh, but it's, uh, we're still in the process of trying to relay that and get that to be uh, uh, instinctive for our players and how we play. Players often, when they go home, they have an opportunity to have uh, quite a cheering section on hand. Is there quite a good crew for the Tortorella clan to come today? Not a soul. Not a soul. <laughs> John, is it re-energizing as a coach to go somewhere different and instill your system and your way of doing things to an entirely new group? Yeah, it, it's a challenge, but that that's... Uh, uh, I love the teaching part of it. Uh, um, and let's face it, as, as far as coaches, we're going to different teams no matter what. It's just the lay of the land with our business, and we know that. Um, the teaching part of it, uh, the personalities of players as you go to different teams, uh, that's the coolest part of the game for me. Uh, having them try to understand me, uh, me trying to understand them, uh, that's all part of, uh, as I said, the relationships that you built uh, as you go through it. Sometimes it's in conflict. Sometimes it's in uh, feeling good about yourselves. Uh, uh, that's a big part of it. So I'm enjoying it. We've got a good group. Uh, we have a, we, the organization's been great, and we have a good group here. 
Uh, so we're in the middle of that process. The perception from south of the border is that hockey is either all-encompassing or obsessive in Canada. Have you found that so far, and has that been a challenge with how much focus is on your team? Yeah, yeah. You know, we, you look at, uh, you know, it, when, when I was here in New York City, big city, and... Uh, the scrutiny, but there's how many different sports here uh, um, that are covered, and uh, so in Vancouver, uh, it's a great city. It's a city with pressure in winning, uh, as all cities are, but it's there. Uh, and 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 then you have the you know you're playing for the whole province of BC, uh, and so there's yeah there's quite a bit of scrutiny going on there. But that's right where you want to be if you want to compete and you want to test yourself as an athlete, as a coach, as an organization. That's where you want to be at, and uh, uh, I'm enjoying it. One of the things you, you talk about, you said this is a veteran group compared to your previous two jobs. Has that been a little more, have you had to adjust to that in the sense that you haven't had to go through that? process of building guys up? At, at times, yeah. With, 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 I think with the core of our group, uh, I mean, you know how I feel about the process. I talked about it here every day. Uh, um, it's a big part of growing as a team, but when you, it, it's been different for me there because I think I can rely on them a little bit more. Uh, uh, they have been well coached. They, uh, there are some really good veteran players there. Uh, it's for them to understand me a little bit and in how we coach and how we do our day-to-day -day business, but I also rely on them. Uh, 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 but when you were dealing with young kids, and we had a lot of young kids here in New York, you're putting them through the process and, and not really listening to too much uh, until you start seeing the two-way street there. So it, it's, uh, 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 it's a good group that, 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 has, uh, that has helped me uh, and I've approached it a little bit differently out there in Vancouver. Hey John, in any of the spare moments, I know you have very few, with the young guys that you put through the process here, do mm -hmm. you check up on them, do you look at stats? Do you just, as, as kind of a proud ex-coach, want to see how they're doing? No, I haven't, you know, quite honestly, because I'm so damn busy trying to figure our team out. And uh, uh, again, I thought we had a really good start, but we've been up and down here. Uh, uh, as far as results, I, quite honestly, not in play, but as far as in results. So um, that's for another time, uh, you know, when you, when you do have some time. And, um, you know, you live under a rock. I, I think if you're approaching yourself, and especially with a new team, um, there's a lot of work to be done in understanding, for me, the organization and how it works. So it's been very busy there. Is there anything specific from your time in New York that, that you've drawn on that has helped you with, with Vancouver? No, I don't think there's anything specific. I, I have a, a deep philosophy on how you go about your business as a coach. Uh, I, I think you, I have made adjustments uh, uh, in, in, in how I go about some business there because I, I have some older guys on this team and uh, a good leadership group. But uh, the way we want to play, um, really, no. I, I, I believe in... Uh, how we go about our business as a coaching staff and we're trying to stay with it. I know you're here for pretty much just a cup of coffee today. It's not mm -hmm. a, a long extended trip, but thank God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have you or will you have any interaction or look forward to have any inter interaction with some of the other guys, some of the old guys? Old guys as far as players? Yeah. I am going to coach this game, hopefully kick their ass and get out of here. <laughs> and, uh, Two more uh, questions uh, yeah, right. and, that, that, and really, and, I, and I, that's certainly not being disrespectful. It, it, they don't want to do it. I don't want to. We're so wrapped up in our seasons. We play tomorrow at one o'clock in Carolina. We're getting on a plane and going. Okay.